Hey, welcome back to the channel. So this right here is the Z Flip 5G. I've been using this for a few weeks now, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the phone and why now's the time to get the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. Now throughout this video, I'm gonna be talking about the Z Flip and it doesn't matter if you're talking about the Z Flip or the 5G variant. Basically, they're pretty much the same phone. The only difference is a slight variation in the CPU and that newer CPU allows for the 5G connectivity. So the original Z Flip has the Snapdragon 855 Plus and the 5G has the 865. There's a slight speed increase, but you're not gonna notice that for day to day, the games, anything like that. They're pretty much the same phone. It's just one enables you to do 5G and the other doesn't. So before we even get into this, if 5G is not important to you, just go for the Z Flip. It's just as good a phone. So like possibly some of you that are watching this video, I always thought that folding phones were kind of a scam. But recently I've been going smaller and smaller on my phones. I kind of got sick of the big giant phones and I went to like a Pixel 4a and an iPhone 12 mini. The reason these phones intrigued me so much is that these things are so slim when they're closed. They're only 87 by 74 by 17 millimeters closed. But then when you open it up, it has this beautiful 6.7 inch screen that's larger than the iPhone 12 mini or you know the, something like the Pixel 4a. But then you close it up again and it's this compact little thing that slides right into your pocket. I absolutely love that. You get the portability and convenience of a small device, but then you can open it up and you got this full screen, normal size, quote unquote, quote, normal size cell phone that you can do all your stuff on. I absolutely love that aspect of it. Now I mentioned the 5G and the non 5G variant of this phone. And I talked about how the CPU is the only difference. Everything else is the same and the specs are really good. Now, like I said, depending on what you're getting, you either have the Snapdragon 855 plus with the Z Flip or the 865 with the Z Flip 5G. They both have that beautiful 6.7 inch folding dynamic AMOLED screen. It has a resolution of 1080 by 2636. Now, what does that mean? It just means the screen's beautiful and the resolution's really good on it. So don't worry about those specs too much. It's a great looking screen. As far as storage, both of them have 256 gigs of storage and eight gigs of RAM, which is plenty in my use. You're gonna be able to run all your applications. You can store a ton of pictures and videos and all that kind of stuff. Both phones have USB-C that supports 15 watt fast charging, but they both also support wireless charging. And that honestly is how I charge my phone most of the time. Now the phone has two cameras. It has a 12 megapixel main camera and a 10 megapixel selfie camera. Both of these cameras take great pictures. They're very clear and crisp. Now, Samsung does use that kind of exaggerated saturation, so things are a little punchier than they may be on other phones, but they both take great pictures. Now, there's a lot of people that say, you know, these are not flagship cameras and all that kind of stuff. And while that's true, I mean, who cares? They take great pictures. I don't care if it's the same as the, you know, the S21 Ultra or whatever, who cares? It's a great camera, takes great pictures. It's on a freaking folding phone that's like super thin. So it's great for me and it's gonna be great for probably like 99% of the people that are gonna get this phone. Now, when this phone is opened up, it has full Android. I'm not gonna go into that. You've probably seen Android before. It's just like any other smartphone. When it's closed, you have a little screen on the front that shows you notifications, the time, and the media controls if you're playing media through Bluetooth or something. And those all work really well, but the thing that's cool is you can also use that as a viewfinder and take selfies with that front facing camera to get a little bit better quality. All you gotta do is just double click on the power button. It pops up that little screen and lets you use it as a viewfinder and then you can take your picture. Uh, it works really, really well and you get a little bit better quality selfies with that 12 megapixel camera. All right, so since this is a folding phone, I wanna talk a little bit more about that folding screen. And that screen is awesome. It is beautiful, 6.7 inches. It's very responsive to touch. The colors are great. It's a great screen as you would expect on an expensive smartphone these days. Now, I do wanna talk about that crease because the crease is there because obviously it folds. I've seen a lot of people out there say they get used to it. I've not gotten used to it. I notice it every single time. It's there, it's in your face. It, there's no getting around it. But it's on a freaking folding phone, so I don't really care. I'm somebody that's so concerned about my screen that if I put a screen protector on there and I have one tiny bubble in there, I gotta pull the thing off because it drives me crazy. 
the crease is there. It's noticeable every single time I use the phone, but I don't care because of the benefits I'm getting from this folding phone. So hopefully that makes sense. It's there and I notice it, but I don't care, honestly. So here we are at the part of the video where I tell you why now's the time to buy the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, and that is the price. On top of all the great features I've talked about, like you know opening to this big, huge screen and then closing down to this little clamshell that you can just stick in your pocket, which I absolutely freaking love that. But the when these phones first came out, they were about $1,400 each. Right now on Swappa, you can get the Z Flip for about 500 or the Z Flip 5G for about 600. That's where I got my phone. I'll have some links down in the description if you wanna check that out. But when I got this phone, it came and it looked like nobody had ever even touched it. It was in absolutely perfect condition. I've been super, super happy with it. So whatever your reason for uh, being curious about this phone, I would go say, go ahead and jump on it. At $1,400, I was having a little bit of trouble, you know, justifying that price, but at 600 bucks, less than half that price, it was a no brainer for me. I just jumped on it. Now you may be asking yourself if you should buy this phone now or wait for the Z Flip 3 to come out later this year. I would say still, if you're curious about it, get this phone. When the Z Flip comes out, it's gonna be over $1,000 again, whereas you can get this one for $500, $600, um, and then you can always use that as a trade-in for you know the Z Flip 3 whenever that comes out. I would still recommend this get, getting this phone unless you absolutely need all the latest and greatest features, but honestly, I will tell you right now, most of you watching this video do not need all those brand new features. This phone is gonna be more than enough for you. Now, hopefully you found this video useful or informative. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. If you really liked it and you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many comments as I can, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for stopping by.